Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at taking out the seats and uh, replacing them with a set of captain's chairs, captain's seats uh, with armrests and uh, a lot better looking than the old Mercedes Sprinter installs. So uh, yeah, come and have a look. This is uh, these are the, the, the basically these are the seats. Um, so. They are vinyl seats and they have the swivels built in and uh, we're going to be taking the old old one out. We're going to leave the, the base in uh, for the passenger side and stick the seat straight on there. And I've got a new base uh, which will go in the passenger side. So the base, the whole base is coming out today. Um, we've got to be careful with the uh, inertia um, sensor. Um, we've got to actually dismantle that somehow and keep that wired in. Um, it's either that or we can put a resistor in. Um, but if we if we if we take it off at the moment while I haven't got a resistor, the SRS light will come on on the dash, and I won't be able to remove that without plugging into the ECU and clearing that as a fault. So we're going to just try and be careful uh, today um, until I can get hold of a resistor. Uh, once I can get hold of a resistor, I will be probably replacing the seatbelt inertia sensor with that uh, that resistor but we'll cover that in a later later video so today we're going to rip these out and get these in <laughs> let's do it shall we sorry about that so let's get a good shot there where are we there we go got the other side oh yeah loving that Okay, so uh, let's just move these out of the way so we've got a bit of room. Cool, so this is the front seat section and uh, what we've got is uh, we've got that bolt there and another one down here and another, just another one on that side. Uh, but we've got this cable, um, this, this cable which disappears under here somewhere, comes up around and through there. So that one can literally just be unclipped. Yeah, we can pull, pull these ones off. Yeah, and now we just need to pull that one out and that one out. And we need to get rid of that because that's nothing to do with the vehicle anyway. Um, and over this side, we have another one. Let's get you a better angle. Yeah. So we've got this other one that's just taped there, and it's clipped here. Yeah. And this is the one that disappears up into the seat unit, and it goes into the middle seat belt, which obviously the middle seat belt is going to be non-existent. So let's get these uh, let's get these bolts taken out and see what we got. There we go. You don't need footage of a bolt being undone, do you? <laughs> Crack on, get on with it. Explain as you're going. So there's just three bolts. Three bolts at the front and four at the back. That's fantastic. Very easy. That's the three at the front done. There you go for the three at the back. Let's see what we got. I'll be really glad to get this finished. So these seats 
Um, I bought these seats on eBay uh, from a chap in Wales. And because we're in Norfolk, it's the other side of the country to us. So I thought that the, the, this guy wasn't going to, he wasn't going to uh, ship them to me if I'd bought them. But obviously I could collect them or he would help to uh, put them on a courier. So I thought, yeah, okay, well, that's the option. Bought it on a Friday and I thought, I said to Debbie, my wife, I said, let's uh, make a weekend of it. So we left Norfolk at Friday, on Friday, uh, no, sorry, I left Norfolk Saturday at 12.30 midday and uh, got to Wales by about quarter past six and we met up with him in a, in a car park, a bit of a dodgy deal going on, <laughs> met him in a car park and uh, swapped the seats over and then we decided to find a campsite so we could stay the night we had all the bedding in here um, this is just a temporary thing and uh, so we found this campsite got there quite late ordered a Chinese to the campsite itself it was bloody brilliant real real good good time we had that night a couple of drinks and uh, yeah look headed back uh, in the morning we uh, we started off and headed back to Norfolk with the seats which was uh, was brilliant and they are really nice seats they're brand new um, he never used them he bought them for a sprinter conversion um, and didn't get around to doing it but he paid a lot of money for the seats and never used them so they're brand they are brand new which I'm very pleased with because I only paid a very small amount of money for them. <laughs> so, this has proved to be a little bit difficult. Oh. middle one's a bit tight <laughs> it's gonna snap If we can get it out a little bit, stick a bit of WD-40 on it, and then we're going to wind them in again so it lubricates, so it can lubricate the thread and clean it up a little bit. So start winding it in. So guys, what projects have you got on today? Stick it down in the comments below. I'd love to know. These fan builds are getting more and more popular with people. And I love it. I love seeing the energy. There's so much energy.
yeah, so much, so much passion and energy that gets put into these van builds. And it's lovely to see some of the, uh, some of the vans are just unbelievable. You know, the thought that have got, gone into them and the, and the passion and the energy. It's, it's, it's lovely. Uh, so keep it up, guys. Keep it up. And if I can pass on just a, I wouldn't say knowledge, I'd say inspiration. Because uh, I'm no expert at all. Especially when I lose my bloody spanners. Oh well. I had it for the battery. I know I had. I know I've used it. Uh, it's not around the batteries. Okay. Ah, my tractor's going off. So. So we're just taking the negative off here. Just remove the negative from the system. So we good, good. Perfect. So we'll leave that just drain down for a few minutes just so the ECU is definitely dead, dead, dead. Perfect. And we'll now have a look at this again and see if we should just be able to unplug it. I hope. There we go. So the system is now disconnected, just like that. And we have the torques on the side, so the torque spanners. So it looks like it's going to rain, which is great. Like we need it. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Yeah. And that's it. That be the sheet bolt oft. Put that in there. Bring that forward. And slide it out. Look at that. Easy as that. Lovely jubbly. Loads of cables still attached. So we'll just have that one off of there as well. Get rid of that. And there it is. A little fuse holder in there. Ooh. A little fuse holder, which will come off as well. We'll just take that. Oh, no, it's not. What is it? Oh, no, it's Torx. It's Torxy Torxies. Not that one either. So, oh, slightly bigger. <laughs> there we go. Love it when a plan comes together. Oh dear, oh dear. As you've probably seen in my previous videos, this v van was bought. Ugh. Bought uh, obviously as a second-hand vehicle, 
but the people who had it before me just show you so this is the this is what we're left with yeah obviously that is the uh, okay can't do that at the moment because it's updating some software <laughs> then I'll do that and I'll show you So what have we got under here then? Another cable. Another bloody cable. That has nothing to do with the van. No. Oh, rubbish everywhere. So we can have a look in there. <laughs> I don't know what they did, what they used it for. <laughs> Whatever they used it for was a bit dodgy, I think. See if we can cut that out. Get rid of all the. Let's get this cleaned up. See, people have put stuff in here, and I don't know whether it was. It certainly doesn't look as if it's done properly. And that concerns me because if it's not done properly, how do I know it's safe? So I would rather I'll rip it out. Rip it out. Where's that one going? Oh, it goes into there and out of there. So if we Same forward. Ha 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 ha. There you go. Wicked. <laughs> wicked, wicked, wicked. So there you go. So that one out there. Good bit of cable, that. <laughs> we'll use that somewhere else. So we'll give it. Uh, we'll leave these in place because these go all the way through and up the top, which I don't want to take out at the moment. So what we'll do, we'll run those over that side. I think I'm going to install the amp that side anyway. And then we can tape them up, coil them up, and put them way over there so let's go and get the this is all good this is all good oh there you go look. money what we got there don't know that's a little one it's not it was a and a penny smaller than a penny and a penny okay right let's go and get a uh, hoover and hoover this crud out
Here we go, here we go, here we go. So, let's just put that one back on. Now we've got to, I'll leave that off for a minute, let's go and get the base because I've got to feed these cables through to the battery. So here we go, now figure out how to put this in. Where does it go? <laughs> There's the one hole. There's two holes. Aha, there's three holes. And there's four. Look at that. Look at that. Sweet. So if we come into there. Yeah. Okay. In actual fact. straight through there like that. Can't we? This can go in place right now. I just hope there's going to be enough room. Can I still go under there? I can, can't I? Yeah, just still going to be enough room to turn the seat. I think so. We shall play. All right, let's whack those in. This is a 311 Sprinter 2007. It's done 400, about 415,000 miles. And you must think I'm an absolute idiot for taking it on. But when you think about it, and there's lots of people that ask this question, is the body good? Yeah, the body is good actually. The body is pretty damn good. And worth sal salvaging, worth you know doing the work to it, and spending a bit of money on it. The panels are straight. Everything is is good, really good. So the 415,000 miles that it's covered, I think they're going to be probably dry miles out on dry roads and not out in the winter where the salt off the road can attack. The metal of a of a van and uh, rust it. I mean, underneath is really good. So I think these this was uh, a vehicle that was probably kept inside in a inside a unit most of its life. And yes, it's clocked up a huge amount of miles. But how do we know? Because there's I've got no history with it. How do we know that it hasn't had all the running gear and the engine replaced and the gearbox? In which case, I could put. A brand spanking new gearbox, brand spanking new engine, and all the running gear into this van it doesn't make it new because it's still done 415,000 miles. But it is new because it's got all new running gear. So, as and when it breaks down, it's a sprinter, the parts are readily available. 
as and when it breaks down, because it will break down, like every vehicle breaks down at some point, it's going to break down and when it does, I will uh, replace the parts. And that's it, keep it going. As long as the bodywork is good, why not crack on? <sighs> crack on with it. I've known people to buy brand spanking new cars and drive them out the showroom, take them up the road, and uh, they um, break down. Right, which one's which? One of them you can raise and lower. Which is that one, I think. And that's the swivel. So that's the driver. So this one. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 very nice. This one can go over there. Offer it up, see what we got. Hi guys, so next day, uh, today, we're going to be tackling the, I didn't get, I, 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 we had friends come around last night and uh, so I didn't manage to finish off this seat. We've, I got the bar put into place and I um, bolted it down. Uh, to the to the box underneath but not not the actual seat itself so we need to look at this seat belt inertia um, switch this cable um, when it, before I put the the power back on so this little thing here if you can see it uh, focus 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 that is a <laughs> can't see it Anyway, that is a 3.3 ohm resistor. And that is what you need, supposedly, what you need to make sure that the SRS light stays off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if it works. So first things first is I'm gonna cut these, these wires off. Just like that. And I'm going to make it a bit longer. So that's what you're left with. So that's basically what you're left with. And hopefully that will do the job. But we will find out very soon. Is that battery going back on? in 
SRS light is on and and the SRS light is still bloody on. So that didn't work. Let's see if we can clear it then. So let's get a bit of cable. That'll do, just to test it. For a minute, let's see if we can clear the SRS. So now we've got to try and find a way of clearing that. <laughs> 